All right, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> uh, yeah, let, let's try that one again. Um, I'll just cut out all that stuff that happened, I guess. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so... Hello, everyone, and thank you, Naza. And... Return to Monkey Island, kind of fits Spooktober, contains pirates, chaos, and pirates, zombies, coming point. You know, might be, but I've got enough caves to play, but thank you anyway, Manok. And hello to Smitty Smop and Shakar and Nazva, and Manok, and Drowkin. Thank you, Drowkin, for gifting me Hooked on You, the Dead by Daylight dating simulator. I'm repeating this because I'm going to be deleting the last 19 minutes of it. It's not on the board. Because <laughs> it's mostly, hey everyone, and then, oh, my friend called me for 15 minutes, so I had to play a loop. I had to keep clicking those loops, by the way, manually. I didn't just sort of have it loop. I had to, like, oh shit, two minutes, click. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it wasn't a suggestion. I just play that game right now. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, I guess I'll hop onto Discord and see what the gift is. Oh. Me as a Hero Forge character. I've got a nice shotgun and some fire in my hand. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool looking, I guess. Feel free to show it. Um, sure. I guess I could do that real quick. Uh, just checking there's nothing here that's weird. All right. Oh, let me just... Uh, do that for you. Well, there's me, Hellfire. And there's another picture. That's me, apparently. You know, I got a cape, I got shells by my feet, you know. I definitely would have a shotgun. That's definitely uh, accurate, I think. And there's the back. There's the shot from the front. And there is, oh, I've got like a, a, a sort of like a, a cherry type portrait around my character. That's cool. I like that. Very nice. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you for that, uh, Shrikar. That was very nice of you to do that. Much appreciated. Um, hello, proverbial. So come on, nice talk about the Doom map to the thread. I hope you enjoy your birthday stream. Oh, well, thank you very much, Proverbial. Uh, if you are wondering what Proverbial is talking about, um, you, a lot of you probably already know about this, but I will just post it again. Uh, there is a mapping request. That is... Ah, there we go. Perfect. I will add that to the list later. Thank you, Shakar. Uh, the birthday mapping request will be expiring in about five hours' time when it's midnight in my area. So if you want to get your, your maps in for that, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, I will be playing all the submissions probably Wednesday night, I think, will be when I choose to do those depending on how many I get, of course. So far, that takes me up to two. Uh, I'm aware there's at least a couple more submissions, possibly in the pipeline from various mappers. So, yeah. If you want to submit a map to that last minute, there's the link for you. In the meantime, however, I have some Iron Mans to run. So let's get on with that, shall we? Let's get to some fucking Iron Mans. And starting with... Doom World Iron Man League. Just waiting for the thing to actually show up. There we go. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. Right, so <laughs> Iron Man's shut up, Joel. That's not very nice. Um so this is the Doom World Iron Man League this month as NASA is running again. Uh called Sharp Things, which is a single map for Ultimate Doom by Zazer Acheron, a.k.a. Mr. Doom 64 Enthusiasts, a.k.a. the Master of Towers. So, 
as described, or make it, nah, there's no practice runs, it's blind, as usual. So apparently this uh, comp level three, what is that, what the hell is comp level three? Is that doom not strict? Uh, as a few rather sharp encounters, but be not scared. Zazo gives you enough space to thread the needle well. Partly it's dark and bloody. Um, partly it can take up to an hour to complete. It is one map. Oh, it's Doom Strict. Okay. That's fine. And it is an Ultimate Doom map. So that should be interesting. Okay. So that's a thing. Uh, the one itself uh, came out in, well, apparently the original release date was 2013, but was re-released in 2017 uh, for 1.1, I assume. What the heck is this description? Okay. Uh, a single map for Ultimate Doom, created for the first battle of the bit's Doom composition, in this spectacular adventure, you must wage a one-man war against a thorn bush in your backyard that happens to accidentally contain a portal to spiky hell. Time to break out the metaphorical weed whacker. Uh, part of this music is created to someone called Alexis Aurelius. Textures from RF, Orient, and Natural Taventi. Cage does a custom sky, and Memphis did some playtesting and feedback, and a stupid thorn in my stupid shoe for inspiration, apparently. It's an E1M1. Apparently, it took a better portion of the day to complete. Uh, and the music we're going to hear is called Faces of the Wind by Alexis Alias. So, it should be interesting. Also, just want to give a quick shout out to someone who followed me yesterday, Corsadin. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, Corsadin is also known as the one of the dev team for a upcoming GZ Dimension game called Relentless Frontier, which I have previously demoed on this channel. So it was very nice of Corsadin to follow along. That's awesome. Right, so. <clears throat> time to get this thing started so i have not played this before so we will be playing on doom strict make sure the mouse hook is disabled causing is a nice dude i've spoken with him a few times yeah i think a few of the devs from the hellforge told the channel possibly so uh yeah infinite height will be a thing i believe in sweepy thank you nasa 13 rainbow cats is the best kind of unicorn you can do for me. Yeah, rainbow cats, that'll work. Oh, it's a major Halloween emote, nice. So yeah, this is a, a blind run. I've never played this before. I've never heard of this until now. And uh, yeah, this is how I celebrate my birthday at 37. I play Iron Man and Doom. So here we go. Let's see what it's all about. All this because of a bloody form bush, apparently. Righty-o. Ugh, spiky dimension. Oh god, we got all the flickering lights already. Blood pool. Everything really just feels jagged and spiky already, doesn't it? <laughs> what better way to celebrate your first ever trip around the sun rather than with suffering? Gotta prove it old age won't keep your demon swing. This goes down. Uh, I guess we have to find four switches or just one. With, some, uh, with the plasma gun. Okie dokie. Oh my. Wow, this is. Wow, this is. Quite the introduction here, Caesar. I only have a, I think, at least I have a plasma to deal with all this, but I think we're going to need some really gracious infighting to help clear this mess out. 
Maybe the Kekos can fight the Balans and I can get some. But the big hit is out of the way. That would be really nice, you know? Dang it. Well, at least I can get the Kekos out of the way. That would save me a bit of time. Oh, I always like to do in fighting if I can. If I can. Weakened and softened by something. That's for sure. Sometimes I get impatient and don't use infighting as much as I could. I usually like to use infighting, but it, it, it's situation dependent. Oh yeah, sorry, forgot to mention, Iron Man League, monthly thing that's been around since 2016. Basic idea is you play through in one sitting and try and get as through as much as possible, as fast as possible. Uh, but I think most of you know what the deal is by this point. I can't say I've ever had to sort of tap on a... Panic to plasma tap on a loss, so that's a first. I think. Ow! Really fucking uncool. Alright. I wanna kill staff. Oh, it's just gonna raise up. Yep, sure is. Into a big playground. Into a big playground. A mastermind is in wait somewhere. Waiting to pounce and do god knows what. Might want to not be getting too close to that mastermind. Possible. Oh my. I. Oh. Uh, Show the kill count if you die. Yeah, don't worry, I know how to do that. I was just gonna go and eat a shelter from the masterminds, but I seem to have delved off into a very E3M2 style adventure suddenly. by me. Hi guys, John, happy birthday. I'm already 38 years old. It seems that we are getting older. Have you already played your special map submissions? Wow, thanks to the 1,000 bits, Hackross. Fucking hell, that's $10. Thanks, man. Uh, no, I have not played the submissions yet, Hackross, because the deadline has not yet, uh, passed. I am planning to play the submissions on Wednesday evening when I can compile them all together. As I'm not sure how many submissions I'm actually going to receive. But if... So far, I have received two maps. More made follow. Sneaky hit scanner there. Oh, is that a good play? 
nice to get. Let's get the chain gun. Excellent. Oh, his armor and health are five percenters. Nice. I wanted to have participated, but I have not had time. He <laughs> barely covered the first half. Wow, this is all jagged, jagged, and then some more jagged. I don't think that invisibility needs to be used. I'll pick it up just to get rid of it. I don't really have any reason to. It was quite useful before when there were like lots of hit scans in the vicinity, but not so much useful anymore. Now we are not. what will be opening up once these are open. I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, I should kill my team. I'm often expecting to hit a side of the team, to be honest. hell. I was making the move there. Oh, I really could have handled that better. I was just tempted to sweep past and then go around the other side. No, I just fucking poorly timed it. Can I move the thingy banner? Oh, yeah. I can do that. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, such a disappointing way. I, I was point. I had that pretty well played, and I roll to a very simple double cyber demon encounter because I missed time I run past them. Ugh. 
God, another Iron Man run that doesn't go anywhere. All right, well, I guess moving on to the next thing that I do. The Iron Eagle, of course. There we go. All right, I need to set this up in a PR boom, of course. It was an unexpected. Oh, who cares? Just move that. All right. Let's add that in. I think it's. You made a mistake of not buying the Cybersteel birthday party. Oh, that is it, is it? My birthday party. Oh, hey, thank you for the raid, Sean's glasses. How are you doing? Yeah, we got some Sean's glasses cool emotes coming in. Very nice. Ah, it's in Doom Strict, right? So it needs to be Doom 2. Just check if this is working. Looks like I'm in business. Let's get this set up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Hello, Pineapple. How are you doing? as well. As sucks, I missed a death due to countryside Wi-Fi, but is that room is the most dangerous in council? At least it's the best place to die? Nah, I still feel I could have handled that better. That was just really bleh. I was doing well in clearing the enemies out early because I anticipated there'd be a cyber demon, and I just basically didn't handle the double session well, but you know, there is a bit of luck to that, but I still felt I could have done that better. Um... I need to hook Cherry. Okay. Well, that's good. Good. How's the stream going? It's uh, going okay, Sean. Uh, I am doing Iron Man runs, and now it is time for the Iron Eagle. Uh, 48. And hello, Cherry. So, Cherry, it's my birthday today. I am 37 years old. Me, me, me. Me, me. What do you mean you're not impressed with how old I am? Me, 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 Okay, well, how old are you then, Sherry? Me, 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 me. That's just a big number, Sherry. Uh, so apparently you're 104,356 years old. Oh. Okay then, so that's a long time, Cherry. I mean, 30 doesn't seem much compared to that, but you know, you live in hell and I live on something that isn't hell, but you've said a lot more than I have, I guess. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits, look at that. Pine Pineapple was giving 100 bits to you, Cherry. Me, 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 me! You would prefer that Pineapple give you 104,356 bits? Cherry, that's very greedy. We're not asking for that much. The 100 bits will suffice. Besides, it's not, this is not your channel, it's my channel. You get your own channel, you can ask people all you want. Now have a hug. Oh, and give me a happy birthday, would you? Me! No? Well, fuck you then, you're like in your closet. Not party pooping on my parade. Start out practice runs? No, I don't want to do practice runs this time. I'm definitely gonna. I don't think there's a Sweet Pea Wiki to exist, first of all. <laughs> no, nope, well, I'm aware of anyway. The set is quite fun. Soft what after killing everything on the very final map here. Definitely the most agonizing death I had. Well, you know, I mean, if I stick around long enough, maybe I'll get a wiki entry. I don't know. Who's to say? Oh, this apparently is the last one. So, a preview of what happens if I get to map the weather. So, the Iron Eagle is similar to the Iron Man League, except that you can pick the difficulty setting, and I run it in PR for reasons. So, this apparently is. Fix that loud music. 
good grief. So this apparently is the finale of something called the Doom Core Trilogy, created by Valkyrie Force. While the maps are vanilla, the themes are coherent throughout the maps, the encounters are well designed, and there is some exploration and puzzle solving mixed in. Rise of a Triad music, of course. Um, so, there's 11 maps, and a credit map 12. <laughs> One plague, try my program. See if you like it. Cheer 100. Again, it didn't come on. Oh, there you go. 100 bits. Thank you, Hackross. Maybe one day I will. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, are there any details on the Iron Eagle map from the text document? This came out in 2012. Uh, September 1st, 2012. Hey, NASCOR90, how you doing? So there's a map listing, and there are some, oh wow, I guess, we'll have, I guess we'll take down some notes on the music that's used, because there is custom map names and everything. Right, so this is the Iron Eagle. Can I do any better in this? I usually tend to do slightly better in the Iron Eagles compared to the Iron Man, so do know. So this is on Doom Strict Compatible 2. This is a Category 1 run. I've never seen this before either. So let's see what it's all about. So this is map 1. It's not called in 2A, it's called Mezzanine. And the music here is Skidar Ruins by Gold Jinjo from Perfect Dark. And the reason I play in PR Boom is because when the iron... Oh wow, execution style starts. It's because way back when this first started, the Iron Eagle was PR Boom demos only. They rescinded that requirement, but I used this as an opportunity to practice PR Boom play. And so, I have stuck to it ever since. Maybe we can shoot that. No. No, this is, the actu this is actually me. Yeah, you can't see the thing at the bottom, so... You definitely know it's me this time. Thank you. Actually, it's not meant to be a microwave. Maybe. I think it might be a microwave since it's meant to be a kitchen, I guess. Perhaps. Yeah, it looks more like a kitchen, doesn't it? Let's see if this does the trick. Alright, well, hopefully that combo works. Oh man, I'm getting no joy from the uh... That is a revenant. Ah! The joys of being back in Doom. Two. Seeing chain gunners and revs. Hooray. I do see the mega armor down there, but I'm going to hold on to that for the moment. Save it for a little later. A 
<laughs> oh, you sure saw the lava stomper. Oh, I fell in. Uh... Oh, there we go. Dang it. I thought there was a secret up there, but there isn't. Not to be. Wow, it's kind of okay I can actually see that chain, huh? To be honest. Oh. Hello, Revenant. Nice to see you. You know what, I'm gonna take the Mega Armor now, actually. Just to, just to help out. I'm not sure, actually. I'm not so sure why I couldn't shoot through the gate. That is an interesting... ...point. SSG, level one. Nice. You know what, yeah, go ahead and kill those one range hits, guys. I'm all in favor of it for you. There we go. Ah! Hopefully hit those imps. Oh, might be ripping them apart, actually. Yeah, he's, he's trying to. There we go. Got my own chain gun to work with now, boys. That's the actual exit. Nice tree, as you could call it. Let's see if I can't find some uh, health or ammo before moving on. Either of the secrets yet. Yeah, actual remaining trees are a luxury in two. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next level now. Well, you know what? Remind me at the end. I'll go back. We'll go back and check it. I think it's the fact that it might be a door might also sort of play with into that. 
It's not like it's a... Uh... Alright, well, survived the first level. It's all good. Stratos Headquarters. And the music for this one is messy. Oh, it's a Doom 2 trick. Look at all this scaled down cityscape that <laughs> Valkyrie's put on. Hey, Josh! Going alright. Just chilling with some Doom on my birthday. Maybe later on I'll play a bit of Dead by Daylight just to. Do I go greed? Or no greed. I'm gonna save that as a health this time around. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I should be threatened by a horde necessarily, but I think in this case it'd be better to have the health option. Should I get a massively unlucky hit or something else comes up? Yeah, this is by Valkyrie Force. Um, way back in 2012. This is an old map from them. It's part of the conclusion of a, a trilogy called the Doom Core Trilogy, whatever that is. Again, some details from there. Oh, nice. Hello, Spectre. Oh no, that could have gone really badly if I had accidentally shot those owls. <laughs> well, that's a secret. Not very massively like useful one, but hey, bad enough. Visibility might be having a slight payoff here. Perhaps. Just a little bit of a payoff. Oh, I got a backpack somewhere. <laughs> Demon hasn't picked up a backpack. Oh, that does not bode well. There you go, get in fighting. What? How did that not get in fight started? Did I, my SSG spread some up miraculously land upon that? That's some crazy spread if it did manage to somehow hit the second one. <sighs> Guys, we need to talk about... Excuse me. Guys, we need to talk about the epidemic of monster block lines. It's a serious condition. It affects monsters. Not a laughing matter. Wait, yeah, wait, hang on. Wait, why were you? What? What? Sweet who cried wolf. That wasn't a monster block line? Then why was he stuck? The angle? What the hell happened there? Answers on a 
YouTube comment, if you can explain that. I really thought that was an MBL situation. Just, wow. It's almost clip-worthy, I guess. You went for Mages of the Great variety. Great Mages are pretty good when they are done well. Oh, there's so much death here. Maybe it was an angle thing. Like, you get stuck on a thing where you can't approach from an angle, but... In that case, it's not a caco demon trying to go through a shrinking gap. It's a reachable. I don't know what happened there. That was very odd. We got the we got the we got the weird gate that uh didn't allow the rev to shoot through, and now that happened. Hmm. Very well. It's a good reflex to learn, Shikara. Shoot them before they can shoot you. Alright. Chain gunner was not having any of it. Oh, there was a little button there. That was rather a subtle switch there, which probably is revealed a secret nearby. Somewhere. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? Monster ghosting. There we go. We need some crazy infight shenanigans here. I don't have the best ammo to deal with every one of these guys. Come on! Rip them up! Get in there. You can get Cosmos to get stuck by a weird angular collision. Well, I, I think it was a certain angle. Once he, he, he couldn't get into the building, but he got stuck trying to walk into the same angle. That was weird. That was a weird part. Like, it wasn't like he was derping around the edge of the line. He was, he was just stuck in place. Maybe the Helmet could help out a little bit. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, no, he is going to help out. Nice. Ah, useless! Maybe not entirely. Some use was acquired from that. And here comes the... No. Not, not in this part, anyway. Whoa! And then he got stuck again! Oh, what the heck is going on? Are you too tall for this? No, you're not too tall for this. Make your bloody mind up, all of you. I'm too tall for this. No, I'm not too tall for this. Now he's the George Lucas Stormtrooper that bangs his head into the wall. Yeah. 
Oh, no way. There's an arch vial. Shit. I'm going to try and kill the arch, but I just want to maybe poke out a few hit scans if I can. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, my God. Wow. I wish we had to react to that. I didn't even notice he was sneaking up on me. That was nearly a lot of damage and a painful run to the berserk kit. Alchemy Force isn't fucking around anymore, that's for sure. Oh, I'm with the plasma, nor am I. What's all this about? Oh wow, that's a weird entrance. That is a weird way of doing a door. Use some lifts. I think that just will be some general US details so they don't distract. Not sure what's going on here. Play the map involving the skills are working on the map. Careful here. I honestly put. Hmm. Do I need them to go that way? Though. Oh, this is the exit. I wonder what the other way had then. Hmm. I would want to leave, but I'm gonna gamble that there might be something worthwhile in the arch valve then. Maybe the rocket won't shift away to levels or something like that. This is a bit greedy though, but I'm gonna have a go at it. Can I am I actually able to shelter here? Yeah, I can. For one thing, there's a little shelter I can do here. So that's not as bad. What the fuck? Where the fuck did that fucking revenant come from? And then a surprise revenant shows up.
Oh god, this has turned to quite a disaster. All of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Whoa! You be careful here. Nice! Oh, what? What? Oh, oh. Was that worth it? Always oh, proved to be a very bad decision. I mean, what could we have a berserk pack to fall on? But I've wasted most of my armor. I'm trying to figure out if I've gained anything significant from that. I don't think I have, you know. Nope. That was not <coughs> exactly um, the greatest trade. I don't actually win this portal. Oh, okay. That's that's not bad, but. Uh, yeah, I think I did that in the wrong order. I should have got the Berserk first, then gone back to get that. I could have had 200. No matter. Moving on. Into the crane operating system I go. Crane operating, hooray. Or whatever it is. Good volume slightly. Fortress. And the music for this one is Goldwood Tunnels by Jay Richard from Jet Force Gemini. Still want Mega Armor here, so I'm not gonna take the armor just yet. Still hold on to the 50% protection for a tad one here.
certainly did. But then judging by enemy placement, we've, we've already seen that Valkyrie Force isn't afraid to look the ante when required. Again, we might need it. Turn how things play out. Fuck's sake. I was trying to line up the spread shot to save ammo, but it kind of cost me more. Risky venture. Might work out nicely. Does kind of work out nicely. Sort of. Well, perhaps to give an idea of what Valkyrie Force has done, they were the brains behind Akodamia, which I think was last year. Wasn't Echo Dami a CAC Award winner? So, already showing the early quality of map design. Multiple hit scans, not get caught in that. Maybe they are just pistols. I think I'd rather kill one of these in the distance. And I can kill him one with the rockets. Oh, there's still more. Okay. Oh, wow, well, yeah. There we go.
The werewolf tells a story through its transitions. With <laughs> Cherry's cousin. Interesting in some way Dr. Taylor will do the design. Alright, map four, Outpost Silence. Music here is Mist Ache. It's Rise of a Triad music time. I'm going to take that early because I don't know if this is one of those when we come back into the level now. Yeah, that was a pretty decent map. To be honest with you, if I just wet this play for five seconds, I could have said, Rise of the Triad! <laughs> She's talking to herself again. <laughs> uh. Stop talking to yourself, you guys. It's a sign of madness. If you talk to yourself. We so they say anyway. Oh, and a nice we perfectly cut skybox. Well, maybe a little bit lacking here, but it's acceptable. Good app, good technical. Hmm. 
Yes, an interesting way of getting that key also. And when you can't point out, just use an arrow. It looks like it is, yeah. Ah, uh, what, 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 what? Oh my fucking god, I don't even know how many monsters I killed. Because I fucking accidentally skipped. I was, I wanted to get the plasma out, but I was thinking I could SSG enough of them, I'll get it out. Uh, I don't have any idea what the hell, uh, what my monster count is, unfortunately. I couldn't tell you, but, uh, I guess I died to an imp in a trap because I had the wrong weapon out, because I wasn't expecting to have that happen. Okay, well, uh, that is that, then. Sometimes just having the wrong weapon out. Yeah, that's true. If I was using DSDA Doom, I could do the frame state and I could have come back a little bit, but fortunately, I'm not using uh, that, so. Uh, yay! I died in an Iron Man. It's DSDA for me. I think so. I don't think DSDA is not allowed. You just, put, you just wouldn't be allowed to use the frame rewind. Nah, no, I'd, I'd have to just. I, I, I would just have to say somewhere around uh, 30, 40 odd. I think I had killed about 32 when I last checked it. So it was somewhere around 30 to 40 monsters. So I'll just have to give an approximation because, again, I wasn't expecting to die. I was right in the middle of trying to go SSG, kill, switch to plasma. I couldn't switch to plasma straight away because I thought I would have been super dead. But maybe I should have taken that risk. Uh, well, that's kind of lame. Uh, well, uh, I mean, you can always replay the video and count. Could always check back and paste it and we count. Nah, I'm not going to bother with that. Not me, that's for sure. Not me. Definitely not me. Uh, nope. Not to doing a that. Right, well, that's the Iron Man for the month done. Uh, once again, another month where I am falling very short. Uh, once due to mistiming a cyber double rush and once due to an ambush that just had me have the wrong weapon out at the wrong time. Although I perhaps should have been a little more suspicious of an exit that early. You know, it's not all, with being blind. I can't anticipate a pit with imps following suit. Um, so, well, I guess that is going to be it for the Doom segment. But I'm not done yet. Oh, no, I'm not done yet for tonight. I have got something else in mind to chill out with for a little bit. Hmm, in fact, nah, I won't do the um, Adept Challenge runs, I don't think. I'm gonna just... <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm capturing the right window here, am I? Yeah, I should be doing. I should be capturing the window, hopefully. Are we coming through? OBS, do you want to behave and show up or whatever? Yeah, no, it should be bloody... Oh, I know why. It's capturing the wrong window. Well, it captured the earlier window, but it, now it's capturing the correct window. All right, so let me just change this real quick. Oh, 
Okay. So, if you have only come here for the Doom stuff, uh, this is where the Doom stuff went for tonight. Um, I am planning on doing the map submissions from my uh, birthday thing on Wednesday. And I think I said I wanted to consider doing a playtest session in this month, possibly, depending on time and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, actually, I should probably get some anti food tablets, actually. Yeah, I'll do that later. Should be alright. I think I'll be okay. Um, me. Alright. So, I'm gonna play some deep. I'm not gonna do the, the survivor adepts, though, I don't think. Or should I do them? Hmm. Should I do survivor adepts or not? That is a question. Hmm. I suppose I could do, but you know what I'll do? I have an indecisive decision. I'll give you all two minutes to decide before I take a quick piss break. And when I come back, I'll either be doing some chill stuff or I will attempt some survivor adapts. So be right back. I just took some anti-flu tablets to help me out. Anti-cold flu tablets, wipes it, whatever. So what have you chosen, guys and girls? You have chosen... Chill out. Okay. Chill out it is, then. I will do some chill stuff. I suppose. I do have things to work towards. I hate playing other people's games. You hate playing other people's games, do you? You hate this one? Sometimes I do. Sometimes. Right, so, um, I have actually managed to get build to level 3. 
uh, sorry, prestige level three, so I am all ready for uh, the patch where Unbreakable will be mandatory to avoid, to decrease the slug time. Uh, now I'm just working on getting Ada to 50. I'll probably do the same with Felix, just because they're very close to prestige three anyway, and it'll get rid of the perks off the recycle list. I mean, eventually I'm going to get everyone to prestige free anyway, so I'm just trying to think, what kind of perks do I want to have available on everyone to play around with? And I might want World Profile for the, the stupid patch to finish him already, because I think World Profile is going to be popular when it's the last survivor standing. Since um, World Profile means when you are the last survivor standing, you get no scratch marks, no pools of blood, no grunts for 90 seconds. Very handy. You basically become almost invisible, except for the noise you make when running. That'll be very useful in no situation. So I have a feeling we're gonna see a bit more of that. And of course, wiretap is actually quite nice too sometimes. So I am just working my way through the archives as well. Going through Tome 7 since there's not been a patch update, so I can't go back to Tome 6 and get my. But I want to get done done, which is this challenge. Just plowing on through. He's an unhook a survivor who has an me earlier in the trial. I'm just trying to unlock all the, the nodes at the moment, so I'm trying to go for challenges on like multiple nodes at once. And this is the next one that does that. So. I just need to get one more unhook situation. Switch over to Bill and Bow time for this one. I hope you enjoy your sweets and fruits. I hope they are good for you. I hope they are good. And I'm seeing a lot more prestiges of higher levels in my games too, especially on the survivor side. Earlier on, I was playing with someone who was a level 96 prestige on a detective tap who had 2,200 hours in the game. We also had to play in a game with a cheater, which is weird. And now we got someone here with a prestige 23. That means they've prestige 23 times with this character. You can go up to 100 times the prestige. I don't think the prestiges actually do anything past nine. Uh, prestige one to three unlocks all the stuff. Prestige four to six unlocks the body cosmetics. And prestige seven to nine unlock uh, charms based on the three unique perks. And then after that, there's a couple of milestones for changing the color of the prestige. Now you can. And that's it. I don't think there's anything else it does at the moment. So I'm not really, I don't really care for getting prestige 100 on anyone. There's no point. Hatch in Killer Shack, cool. The only thing it does indicate is showing how much time people have committed to a certain character. So I can sort of identify sometimes people who have a lot of hours even if I don't get a profile reading. Oh, thank you, Elgend. I was doing some Doom runs, but as has unfortunately been the case in a lot of my Iron Mans and Iron Eagles this year, they all end a little too short. I did say I was going to consider doing some practice runs one time. I may yet do that. Maybe next year. You know. I guess I don't really mind this kind of being shorter. But I, I want like the occasional Iron Man run to be deep and interesting. I need to look over the Iron Man runs though. I'm not so sure I've had one. For a little bit. But yeah. Um... I was going to do some Survivor Adepts, but people voted for me to chill out this evening for my birthday, so no Adepts it is. Guess I'll save that for another time. To be honest with you, I'm probably not going to do it for the month. It is spooked over, after all. I'm supposed to play spooky stuff. Oh, wait, the killer brought the offering, not the Survivor. Okay, that's interesting. Obviously, it does help the killer notify. wish. 
Of course it's hard. It's made of iron after all. Ugh. All right. Well, here's the thing, right? I kind of need to be caught first for this challenge. So maybe it won't be such a bad thing getting caught very early. I'm thinking about this the wrong way. I don't really want to escape. I kind of want to be caught. I am just doing a generator. Yeah, you go on your way. Thanks, Carmina. You do you. I'll, uh, I'll just keep doing this generator. making the bad choice there, but she could have got a free hit on me. Anyway. Alright, what are the chances she has pain rates? Let's find out if she has pain rates. Let's find out together, kids. Does the artist who uses pain rares have pain rares? The artist who has pain rares has pain rares. But he also has ruin. As well. I can go rescue the guy outside. I can go rescue the guy after I complete this generator. He'll be fine. And I'm still doing this. Okay. Oh, hey, Ardish. I, I, know, I know it's your camp in the hook there. Would you like to not do that? Hi, I'm here. Would you like to hit me, please? Thanks. Okay, thanks. Otis, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, flashlight. No mind. That would explain the aversion to picking up straight away, I suppose. Alright, so for the. Wow, three gens already. So for the challenge, I need to rescue the person off the hook who rescues me. So this is an acceptable thing. Alright, who saves me? It is the Zarina. Okay, Zarina. You need to go on a hook. I need some healing. She has Oh no, she has barbecue and chili. She actually managed to hit two people with that. Pretty impressive. But she couldn't hit me because I have distortion. Oh no. I'm injured, but I gotta go for the rescue, right? Right? I hope she's chasing this one and not that one. Yeah, it looks like we're okay. Okay, good. That means you, you're chasing the Zarina, that's good. I need the Zarina to go on a hook so I can... Well, you know. Dodge the... Wow. Oblivious as well. Okay. Yeah, thanks for that. Yay! And she also has something that slightly increases the time it takes for uh, um, birds to be dispelled, also. Oh, and she's really pedimento. Doesn't really matter too much. Okay, well, I need to leave probably because he's gonna come over here. 
Yeah, she's already leaving. Oh, okay. I need to go and rescue the other guy. Okay, please chase the Zarinu and take her out so I can get a challenge done. Incredibly selfish, I know, but... What? She left her alone again? Oh my god, this Zarina is escaping the artist's attention. For the moment, at least. Alright, well, I guess I'll just hop on a gen then until something happens. Might as well get some form of points in this game. No, this is not looking good anymore. Ah, it's not the uh, most gen, no. Nope. So yeah, one stack of pedimento which is usually the main one that people utilize when running the pedimento is it's a 30% reduction speed of generators. That's a hell of a lot of slowdown. You missed, but you know I'm here anyway. Good, she's going after the Zarinah now. Hey, maybe I can even get a gen done and then save her. Wouldn't that be nice? In fact, if the other person is also doing a gen, we might pop. No. Oh no! Don't fucking snowball this, please! Don't make me cast a fucking snowball. God damn it. I have to unhook her, so I kinda have to like... Oh, she's doing the pick. Oh no, I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so close! A few more seconds! Yeah! No pain rest for you. I see, I see you. Now all I gotta do is save her from that hook and I want to complete my archive challenge. Oh wow, she must have more than one stack because the healing is also being affected. Which means me to ask, how the hell does she have more than one stack of pedimento going here? There was only one ruin totem, wasn't there? Oh god, she's already injured. Alright, need to save the Zarina. Let's go! Go, go, gadgets. I'm a real hero. I will heal you. Man, this is a real difference maker for healing. 30% reduction. Bonkers. Okay. Now you are healing. Now it's now pain rest to zero. Yay. What the fuck? Oh, right. Walkers. I think she was just spreading a guess there, if nothing else. Alright, um... Oh, she's chasing after the Zarinu again. I'll save you! Yeah. 
I'll save you, young we. Now she will spam birds. Actually, she probably won because she's chasing somebody. Man. <coughs> hmm. Okay, you're healed up. Now, what? Where is the gen? There's a gen there. Where is gen number three? Are we free gen here, or do we have a chance to spread out a bit? Ah, oh, the gens aren't actually that close, so there is a potential to be spreading out a bit. It doesn't matter that it's pain raise, you just don't actually know where it is. I sort of stuff away from here now. Yeah, she's having to guess. Yeah, I guess we'll probably go for the save, maybe. Oh, hold on, she's coming over to check. Did she get a detection? Or is she just... She's gonna react to that and then go back. Oh, she kicks the gen, or she's gonna go back because she figures we're over there. There's one gen there, one gen there, and then this is the third one. This one's the furthest away from them. So if they stay down there and sort of do whatever, you know, we have a nice spread, but this is the artist. The artist can negate the spread pretty comfortably, especially with a pedimento stack working in her favor. However, all right, she knows I'm here, but... And the answer, it seems, is rather than be concerned about the two players that are on the opposite side of the map, instead I need to be concerned with the one player who isn't dead yet. The problem is there is a movement here. It's by as much time as possible here. Can I take a like I need I need to buy as much time, but at the same time I don't want it to be too close to the Oh what? They went back that way. Okay, that's somewhat weird. All right, well, she's gonna, that's gonna, maybe it works out. Though. Perhaps they'll complete the gen in a minute. Oh, but not the leave. She's gonna hear the pain rest from there. If they had stayed down there and hopped on one of the other gens, they might have got a lot more done. If I'd known they were gonna go to the gen I was working on, I would have gone a lot further to the other side. Oh wow, the free gen spread is actually even better than I thought. This is the last one here. It's like one in each corner of the map. If they'd been working on one of these two, the artist would be in a lot of trouble right now. Well, I've already got my challenge done, so I don't really care what happens at this point. Just get as many points as possible before. Focusing on cleansing pedimento steps. Interesting. And I'm missing skill checks really badly for this round. Blasted colds, am I right? Blasted colds. To be honest, at this point, I wouldn't probably be really caring too much about Pedimento because you're not going to have the time. It's better just, it's better just to hop on a gen and see what happens. Kind of thing. Oh, 
Oh, it's not even the most complete gen, which means that. Oh, there's no fucking power here. Wait, did she? Oh my god! Took war. Her movement there was very erratic. That was a very weird movement set. I didn't see where she was. She was moving around very weirdly. Very, very weird. No, having no power there did not help either. That's why you got preserved power to wait on. I should do a bit more about myself, but I try to consider the other powers sometimes because you need them for spots like that where you're like dead. But uh, yeah, challenge complete. That's all that really matters in that particular instance. The challenge got done. <coughs> Sorry about the coffin. Um, and with that, and what three challenges? This one, this one, and this one. So that's pretty nice. Right, which one do I want to want next? Um, hmm. Well, if I can get to this one, I want to walk another three. So I think it's time to play some killer games, I think. Even though Survivor gives more points. But I'm not really thinking about that. I just want to walk as many of these archives as possible. So, time to jump over to the killer side for a bit. Besides, at this time of night, it might not be the worst time to actually start playing Killer, but I'm going to see if I can get the green one. Nice. You want to play, you want to see the, all right, I'll play as the white then. Any, oh, spine chill. Hurt that isn't normal. Even so though Spine Chill is like kind of meh. I've not even used Spine Chill since it was new. Wow, that was a good one. It's got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Yes. No, I don't want this one. No, whatever. Get rid of it. Um, hey, another Spine Chill. I'm prioritizing perks that can't be acquired from other people's uh, survivor trees because these ones won't show up all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm not going to get a similar effect here actually because I'm going to go Oh, maybe. Are you going to eat a lot of the space. Oh yeah, you might actually. You're gonna eat like all of that. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent. Really good cheap progression there. Just two levels away now. Calm spirit, so god, nothing else going. Uh, I don't get the 100% bonus, but... But Shikar wants to see the blight! Killer I'm not very familiar with, so... Do I have any garbage I need to get rid of? Oh, a couple I guess. Wow, that was a quick cue. Holy smokes. Very quick. Yeah, I don't want to run the uh, retribution combo here, I don't think. What are we up against? Two flashlights. Thingy kit. Hmm. Let's run. I started to see I've started to see Wesker's running this perk recently as well. It's very fast the skill check. As well. I can see why they're running it with Wesker. It essentially makes healing very difficult, especially combined with unnerving presence as well. 
Oh, they all left. Okay. Hmm. Spirit Fury. I'm gonna do that, I need Enduring to stack with it. I don't have that, so. Maybe that can be called Brian. So, so wait, instead of Deadwalk, maybe we could have. I don't know. Hunter's Lullaby for shits and giggles. See if that does anything. Oh wait, if I'm gonna combine it with Hex Play thing, then they'll be more suspicious, right? Hmm. That's a good point. I don't know if that'd be a weird thing to run with it or not. I mean it might work if I hook form quickly, but Hmm. I also run the risk of losing it very early. think it might actually be a better idea to... Ow! Oh. Okay, well, I was going to change it to Floods of Rage, but I guess not anymore. So I guess we're running Huntress Lullaby with Playful. Which means... Which means... Which means... <coughs> which means... Which means that uh, I will need to try and get someone quickly down so I'd have a better chance of not losing the Huntress. Then again, uh, I think this is a terrible combination because people are going to seek out playthings. Although, it might confuse them. It depends. But you never have a reason not to cleanse a hex, especially if you know plaything is being used. So... <sighs> I think this is a terrible idea. Someone going to come here. I mean, this is still a decent map, but I don't know if it's as good as it was once was for survivors, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Did it say East Wing? Yeah, East Wing. No one's here. Usually someone likes to come to this destination, but not this time. That's another popular one, I think, over there. Yep. There's on cue. Um... Bill, what are you doing? Bill! Bill! Wake up, Bill! Maybe if I put him on a hook, he'll wake up. Bill! Bill! Come back to the light, Bill! Don't worry, he won't be... He won't be, like, dying anytime soon. And let's face it, if he's AFK long enough to go past stage one, it's probably better for his teammates' sake if he was taken out of the game early. Is there a survivor there? I just I saw it. Never mind. That just too long to be used. Just going to chase him. Uh, he doesn't. Oh, he, he didn't go for the boat. Good. Wow. Wow, dude. You should have waited. Thanks, though. Appreciate it. Nah, he's been unhooked. It'll be okay. Oh, hi, he's there. He woke up! He's back! Bill, you back, buddy. I'm so glad you're alive. Oh! Alright. Well, 
He did a gen. Ah! Now you must go on second hook. Those are the rules. <laughs> I might uh, let him win if I get him a third time. Uh, oh, uh, you can't really do much about that one. Very. Are you okay there, Dwight? Dwight? What are you doing, Dwight? Dwight? You're giving up already? I know Dwight is a very uh, annoying put, but killed it. Go against? I think he was giving up. People don't like going against Blight. <laughs> can kind of see why. But, you know. Now, the no method doesn't help either, to be honest. I mean, they're probably thinking he, he hit an AFK guy. Let's just end the game quickly. Steam next fest. No, don't get me sorry, no excuses to play more games. I'm happy to do that show, to be honest. This has been kind of a... Well... I see you! I see you! I see you both! Now... Hello! Unfortunately, I like to do that. Hello. Do I really need excuses? I don't take any particular joy from winning games like this, so. Now, I heard the Quidditch is somewhere nearby. Still here. It. Generator. There she is. Where is she? Hi. What? I have to wait for bold time. Otherwise, I would hit you immediately. <laughs> Well, one guy was AFK at the start. I hooked him once and then he just didn't disappear. I, he, he gave up on hook. The other guy DC'd after seeing that happen and then... Well, these two stuck around. I'm not even using my dashes that much. I feel kind of sorry for him, to be honest. Wait, how did that not... What? I, um, ah! I, uh, I don't know what happened there. I was fully blinded, but I was not fully blinded. I want knockdowns, it is worth noting. That's why I'm not necessarily going after to kill them. Also, this game's kind of ruined, so I'm just going to knock him down a few dozen times for fun. Yeah, he has no Myra, so he can pick himself up. He won't be able to do that in a month's time, but everyone will not be able to do that. Hello. I want to knock you down. I am not ready for it. No, my reasons. Where you at? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, she is... Yeah, it is like a walking stick. Always oh, give up the flashlight. What an absolute champ. Hey! <laughs> Stay down. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get like 15 knockdowns in this game alone. If I just keep doing this to these two. Alright, let's uh when we What? Oh, 
Okay, that was strange. Did I like go across a collision line or something? Ah! No, over there. Can I replicate that again? I was like. No. No. Guess not. Must have been some kind of pathfinding. Uh, collision. Okay, that was weird. Oh wow, I actually have five stacks of lullaby still. Huh, didn't actually cleanse my lullaby totem. Oh man. Can I go down the stairs here? Down the stairs. Into the room. Off the door. And yeah, I can't go any further than that for now. This ain't gonna happen. Alright. Into the house. Off the wall. Somehow I'm missing the steps. Hi. This is a really awkward map to go around as the white. I mean, these now corridors kind of help, but they are twisty and turny. You know. Well, look at that. You know, the, the the white rush is so awkward to go through. That bit, that like you could sort of juke around it. Why some of my mice are fucking loser. That was uh, not intentional. They're still failing skill checks because they've got lower by, so they have to. I'm surprised they're not trying to go find it. Perhaps. See if we can catch up to him. Yo, look at your stamina, boy. Oh, here they come. Time for the survivors to work on their stamina. Are you gonna jump? Jump! 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 jump. Hey! Okay, let's put him on a hook again and get his teammate to save him. Okay, good. He wasn't dead on the hook. That was... Alright, cool. I can hook him one more time each. Then that's good. Now let's see if Quadette comes back to save him. She does! She comes back to save him. The game again? Oh... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I mean, I mean dead hearted! <laughs> down you go. And we'll count that as knockdown number whatever. Yeah, I see you! I see you! Get off the gen, please. Be bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Nothing to bounce off. Oh, 
Fucking hell, how is this stupid thing work again? But... Ah! I saw you there. Uh. Okay, I can put you on this hook. Ah, hey! Get out of here. I know that one missed because it wasn't an actual, uh... It wasn't an actual, uh... Well, because I put on the hook after. That's actually a really good counter sometimes for dealing with, uh, flashlights. If you quick, if you literally spam space when you're right next to a hook, if you time it correctly, you, um... You can actually place them on the hook and the blind won't actually proc. I used that once to get a hook on someone who was trying to be smart ass with the flashlight time. Are you gonna do the. I don't even know if that's my lower body total, to be honest. It could be. Could be, I don't know. Go save your friend. Go save your friend. We got me back. Oh no, where did he go? I have no idea. Master of that. Alright, let's see. All right. Bounce. Oh, Bounce the fucking lamppost. There's something going around it. Wasn't wasn't quite working. You looking at 15 knockdowns by now? Let's see. I knocked down beans twice. Shown twice. The no Miver guy, I think I've knocked down about five or six. When I've knocked down three. I think I'm close to 15. But I'm probably just gonna need a couple more just to be safe. It'd be nice to get it done in this one game and I can move on immediately. I honestly don't think they're gonna get another, another gen done unless I decide to just... Unless I just decide to like, let them have a gen. Hmm. Ah! He's gonna bleed out at this rate. That's the... He is going to bleed out. All the time. He's got like the most no mid value he's ever had in his life. But... There you go. Alright. Another knockdown. Do you think it's time to end the game now? I think it's time to end this because they this is gonna go on for too long and they probably need to go to other games. So let's just let's just politely end the game for one of them. I think I've got my 15 knockdowns now. And no my guy probably wants to get the hatch, which is whatever. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, it's here. Hmm. I have four stacks of no way out. He might not make it if he doesn't realize in time. Uh this is the thing, though. With the Dash Shabiva standing system, in this situation, if I want to give the Shabiva the hatch, I have to literally ignore them. I can't just, like, down them and then drag them to the hatch. Or carry them to the hatch. I have to literally just ignore them and just stand there like a fucking idiot until they find the goddamn hatch. I have another challenge on the kill where I actually have to close the hatch. Okay, well, I don't know where the David disappeared to. Maybe we should just pop it and see if he goes to an exit gate. Hey, Corn King. Well, he'll find it eventually. Oh, you know what? We could actually, since this is not the patch, maybe we can find him. And Let's go find him. Or maybe he'll bumble into it eventually and then problem solved, I guess. Nah, I just like I just hate the idea of Flash Survivor standing though. I just think it's stupid. It's a dumb change that no one really wanted. 
They've already solved the problem of slugging killers with base can unbreakable. So why are they adding an extra thing? So that survivors can get fucked over in stupid ways? Randomly? It's just idiotic. Alright, I don't think this guy wants to exit. Maybe he's maybe he wants an exit gate. Well Okay dude. You can go for the exit gates, but you're gonna have to be quick, because I have four stacks of no way out, which is gonna be about a quarter of the time bank. If you're just hiding and gone AFK at this point, then I don't wanna wait around either. I got games to play. I mean he was hanging around for ages and then he just vanished somehow. I'm gonna feel bad I wanted to give him an exit, but he's disappeared. And keep in mind he has no Miber, so I can't heal him if he's trying to get out either. Where the heck is he? Oh, he's not gonna make it anymore. By the time if he procs a gate now, no way out. Are you here? Oh, now he goes for the exit gate. Yeah, he's just found the bad news. Now I know where he is, but additionally, now he realizes maybe he should have gone earlier. Oh no. I can't I can't get him out now. He's just gonna have to die if I find him. Took too long to do whatever it is that he needs to do. Yeah, he's not gonna have time. He should have gone straight away. In fact, he should have come out as soon as. Sorry, dude. I was playing. I, I like to run no way out. A lot. Can I get him on the hook in time? Just got it before the end. <coughs> he might have actually been in the basement because the chest was open. At one point. Merciless killer. Okay. Hey, there we go. Fifty. GG. I wanted knockouts. Also, the game was... Wanted to kill you, I'd have done so ages back. Granted, killers don't always act so merciful, but when they do, you will notice the signs over time. Oh, in next one. Wow, that the uh, AFK had no items or perks. That was very strange. They must have been going for the challenge. The Dwight only had one perk. That was a strange game. Very odd group there that we got. 
There is an achievement to complete 10 games where you have nothing equipped and you do a gen, so there is a, uh, an achievement for that. Which I may attempt at some point in the future. But not at the moment. Alright, so I've got my knockouts. Now I just need to damage generators. Ah, that'll be easy. Alright. So. Shakar wanted to see the blights. Who does Maddock want to see in a game where I'm going to kick generators a lot? I'm going to run a generator kick build with brittle strength and so forth. What? I said, what cure do you want to see? You get to pick the next cure I play as. Yes, you. Unless there's another Maddock I'm not aware of. No. You might get a turn afterwards, Corn King. It depends what, chap what side of the coin I need to play on. So you can pick any one of the 29 killers. Old lady. You mean the hag? Or this one? God. You don't see hags at all. <laughs> okay. Hag it is, then. You don't see a lot of these these days because, well. Hmm. Yeah, there's a reason for that. It's because not many people play as well. The funny thing is, is the hag can be a disgusting killer. But, she isn't that good. Yes, she has teleports, and yes, she can be quite nasty with some add-ons, but you just don't see her much. It's actually kind of a rare occurrence. Anyway, uh, I need to set up some anti-generator kickery things. Oh, no, I don't have fucking endurance. I don't have that brutal strength. Oh, that sucks. I only have real strength for thingy one. Uh, what else do I need? Oh my god, that's the only. I think that's the only thing I can do, isn't it? I don't have any animals and increased gen kicks with hag. Yeah, that's it. I just have the other stuff, standard, whatever. Uh, <laughs> by gen kicks, I mean I will play as fucking. I will use brutal strength and kick. Yeah. She falls into the same category as a Trapper. She can be more dangerous than Trapper, though, because of her ability to teleport, but in some aspects she can be dealt with easier, and sometimes she can't. But yeah, it's kind of like that. Like, you can have games... It, it is more similar in that you have games where you just won't get anything... Uh, but then the games that work out, you just absolutely wreck because mm. you always like the trapper and some finesse. Well, trapper games tend to be very polarizing. You either do fuck all and lose quickly, or you trap people and you can win the game with expert placement, but it's frustrating, in a sense, sometimes. But I'll say this. A Trapper game that goes well is probably one of the most satisfying things in DVD because it's extremely satisfying to pull off good traps. It's a little different for the hag because you just teleport and it kind of just... Uh, you know, you, you, you can't hook so up and teleport. you got to stay near a range. I don't know. If you can be powerful in good hands, you just don't see a lot of hags ever. It can be frustrating to deal with, though, when you do come across them. It's a bit like when you come across a hillbilly. You know usually that player is going to be very good, and then you need to be careful in, uh, in um, having to, to, to fight them. I mean, sometimes it could just be a new player, but... Oh, 
I should have bought some or I should have bought some or gen thingy perks or something. Wow. Walk straight into it. Well, all I need for this game is to kick gens or I don't really care if I kill the survivors or not. It's just about kick the gens. But um Yeah. Wow, they did the one in the house. Actually, that's good for me. And I got very disoriented as to where I was going. Okay. Seriously fucking wait all the time? Okay, then. Whatever. Oh, well, yeah, I'd like to win you for some points, please. Also, you're very small. Ah, uh, no, you don't. No! No, you don't. Similar to Sadako, you are a very small killer. Getting anywhere with kicking gens here, bro. Yeah, okay, I, I need to be like. Right. Well, the traps look like that, like a triangle, but they can be spotted, and if you use a flashlight, you can melt the traps. I just want survivors to start doing gens in front of me so I can kick it. Right, they're not even entertaining that possibility. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, to be honest. Can you just start doing gens nearby so I can maybe get some points? That would be nice. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Just do a gen in front of me, please. Nah, I don't make it. Yeah, see? You don't make it. Told you. No. I don't think a friend gets there in time. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, am I just gonna fucking do like Yeah, so basically you wanna be like setting all kinds of weird traps. Wow. The problem you can see here is like the trapper, you you don't really have a presence across the map. You finally gave me a fucking gender kick. It is all about setup, and if your setup goes badly then survivors just It is also worth noting this map is fucking horrible for killer. As nice as it was. These people are fucking doing all the time. Yeah, I suggest this group might be a swift. Uh, actually, if they are doing that gen, which I don't think they are doing. Oh yeah, you can tell by the names. One of the names is that, and then another one is also that. So there's at least two people working in tangent with each other. They can actually have that gen, that would be preferable. I could probably get a lot of gens in a free gen situation if I just keep placing traps, going to different areas, and then kicking them over and over again. Which will be fine. It's a good thing I don't really care about this game that much. I just want to kick gens, so that I do care about, and I'm a bit disappointed at the lack of action. Well, now they're gonna realize they free gen themselves. And this is where I get all my action that I want. Finally. 
I don't want to place too many traps, though, because I'll just spam on top of them a little bit. Yeah, ten traps. So, yeah, I don't want to place too many in an enemy because, it, you know, it'll get a bit overwhelming and I can only go to one at a time anyway, so... Now, at this point, they're going to have to spoil up on gens. This is a very good free gen, actually, i got to say. I don't think they've real. I think they might have just realized a little too late that they put themselves in a tough spot for the rest of the game. Yeah, it would remove... I don't think you'd be able to place another one until one is removed. You can do that with Freddy. You can place... You place extras. I'm not really bothered about winning for this. I just want to kick gens for a while. I'm going to play some trap just to have them trigger and get points also. Let's see what they choose to do. Oh wow, they are actually healing right in front of me, which is odd. Okay, this is where things get weird. Oh, I might get it here. Nice. Got it. Suddenly. I'm going to place a very obvious trap here just to make them work a little bit around it. I think that was done as a paint, though. So there's no need to actually pursue there. Wow, she really badly wants to fucking Oh good. Yeah, please. Two gen. You kick gen. Oh nice. Yeah, the pop-up hag is a thing that appears when you activate a um a hag trap. You get a little pop-up thing that like does do stuff. They've actually activated all the traps now. Like, the blind is good. I can get notifications for when I am in on second of the set. They do have to be careful here, though, because this is a good region. I want to play a bit more seriously. Purple does not go all against green. There we go. Yeah, you have your main thing to do. Alright, let's place more traps. Okay. You have decisive strike too. It's been a while since I've seen that used. I'm not gonna lie. It has been a while since I've synthesized it, Strike. And down you go. You, you can't get back here in time. I'm a bit concerned that I've left one of the gems alone, but... Hmm. Oh, nice. They haven't actually had time to work on it. Good, 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 good. Let's place more traps. Here. And one here. They're not working on this one, so it's fine. The flashlights are going out of juice at some point. She's running off there to do whatever. Oh, 
kind of sweet. Don't even know. Okay. Place one here. Good. Place one here. Alright. Now, in a war of attrition, this is why the free gen is critical. They've been dominant all game, but now they are in an actual fight. Even though, like, I'm not running the most serious build. This shows you how good a free gen is. They need to split up and do free gens at the same time. They're not realizing this, though. At the moment, anyway. Or maybe they don't care. Maybe they're just goofing around, too. I don't know. Missed the chest right save there. Three hit. Yeah. This doesn't even grit, certainly. Second one. Now you can only have 10 traps on the uh... Hello, Jill! Luckily, I don't have... Oh, fucking blast mine. And something disgusting I found out about blast mine is that it could actually counter a pop attempt as well if you get it off. Like, if you try and kick a gen and it has a blast mine, your pops that gets consumed by the uh, attempt. Can you hear it? Hello? Ignoring that for a moment. That should be a really good one. Want to get on a hook? Yeah, so it, it's... If a teleport goes off, I have a limited period of time where I can teleport to the trap and do this. It's actually a really nasty power, but it is a setup one. You really have to set it up quite well. So as you can see, I'm able to sort of control the gen suddenly. Yeah, this game got very interesting when they free gen themselves into a corner. I don't think they're playing seriously, though. I really don't think they're playing all that serious. Or if they are, then they need to work on not free gen themselves next time. But I sense they're not entirely playing seriously. Otherwise, they'd have people on all free gens at the same time. Which is what they should be doing. Oh, hang on. I can switch the target. Now everyone's injured. I can hear you, Jill. I can eliminate one of you. Oh, crap. Flashlight. I now have four stacks of No Way Out, too. Did she actually go into the other one? Here? Oh, wow. Did she? Oh, no. She just got the timing off. Uh, oh, this is a mis Oh, God, this is bad. I don't think I made this now. Damn it. I do not have it. I've used that hook already. Damn. That's a problem. Alright, 
Wait for traps. Now I don't have to retreat again. Damn. Yeah, I shouldn't have. That, that would have been a good hook, but it's fine. Whatever. In a very good position here. Except where I missed that really obvious hit. That is the flashlight girl. I need to discourage from doing flashlight things. Ah, she's too far away now. Can't get here in time. That's good. This is the second book. Nice. They can't get agenda. Because I can be everywhere, you see. This is where Hag excels. Traps, close range, holds down an area very nicely with trap spam. I can just do this over and over. Yeah. This is why you don't want to free gen yourselves. To be fair though, any killer right now, I could have the same pressure. Any killer, even twins at this point, I'd have the same pressure. It's just so easy to go around each gen, check it, push them off. In a war of attrition, they would win, but they don't have the luxury of attrition anymore because one of them's dead. And if they try and sneak to a gen and botch it, I can teleport to them. And make them pay. If they had spread out the gen, they'd have won this game already. But, they didn't. Now. I'm gonna go and attack them, but if they haven't come gents at all this game, I won't have blood. Whoa, in Where did you... Did you go back inside? No, you did, didn't you? Hello. You're there, you're there. You dressed me up for Halloween. I'm gonna go back to the gym. Oh wow. Oh, teleport. Yes, there we go. Oh yeah, you fell for the teleports. Nice. Kate butt. Uh, Wait, there's a hook. Oh right, nice, there's a hook there. Wait! Oh, did they sap all the hook earlier then? Yeah, they did. That hook wasn't a bit. They must have sabled that hook. I thought that it was uh, gone because I, I was not. I'm, I wasn't paying attention to what hook I used to kill. It was that one for the death, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a sabo play then. Now, now they've lost essentially. Unless I make a big mistake. BanditCamp.com will not be camping tonight. Yeah, I mean, hags tend to do this amount of hooks. <laughs> Which is stupid, because all you have to do to count about is just run through every single one of them, and then someone else gets the pickup once it's done. It's wasteful, really. Very effective if it's a two-on-one, maybe, but... A little bit pointless. I don't even know what the survivors can do at this point. Maybe... Do I have to play there, you patient. She's just gonna... Yeah, never mind. That's now out of action. Here. Runs off. Other person tries to sneak in, but I have traps. And they are nowhere near any gems. I guess I can do that. It works. But if I ignore and go back to the generators, which I'm going to do, you know, I've got my hit. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that, but they were going to. I'm going to place a trap. 
over there so that that can't happen again next time without a bit of resistance. Place one there. And I'll place one around here to break the loop a little bit. Yeah, they're not even close. So now I just wait a while. Alright, we're good. Well, they're probably going to reset here. And then the only thing they could probably do is hop on. Well, actually, they're both dead on hook. So what they should do is they should either agree to split on Jen, so have one person just sacrifice themselves to the other. Then maybe the last person gets hatched. Because they can't win at this point. They should realize that. They can delay the game for ages, though, if they want to hide. That is something that sometimes survivors do. They fuck off for five minutes, and then they decide to try and bore the killer to come out and chase him. Not these guys, though. I think they're trying to figure out something to do against this, but... The only thing they can do is hope that a chase occurs where I just get really, ah! really distracted and just chase them forever. Because the thing about the Hag's teleports is the Hag's teleports have a range. You can't just teleport to all of them. You do have to uh, be within a certain distance of the, um, the traps. There is an add-on, I think, where it can be unlimited, but it has a drawback. So you gotta be within like 40 meters of the room to teleport. But that's kind of similar to how a trapper is. You wanna be near your trap so you can grab people off them. <coughs> okay, so they're both over here somewhere. I might go and pursue. I I, I do need to I do need to kick gens after all, so maybe if I chase them off in a different area, they might power up some gems for me. It's not over yet. I could commit to a chase next time because it's, because I sh actually that's exactly what I should do. Because even if they somehow rush a gen out, I have no way out. So next time I see one, I'm going to just commit to the chase until they're downed. Unless it's like around the house, in which case it would be smart to give up. But... Well, the survivors mainly did it to themselves, whether by intent or by just overlooking it. You know, they did the house first, which was a good move. I mean, the house one means they don't have to worry about defending it. The house one is a pain in the ass for most killers to defend, because it's a, this house in general is very unpleasant to go around, since it's, uh, there's some infinites. The moment they freed Jen was the moment they lost. And because they refused to split up on Jen's at that point, they really lost. And that was the main thing. They either didn't get the chance to or didn't attempt properly. If they had actually, like, seriously attempted to, like, do stuff Jen's or whatever, then... They might have stretched me a bit. That's what you have to do in a free gen when you're the survivors. You have to... Quite the range to... Mm, no, this is not going to win. It's going to win with too much time wasted. I will take a chase when I feel I can actually at least injure them. The moment I get an opportunity to injure a survivor, take a better chase, do that. Like now, for instance. I think I commit to this. Now. This is why I go all in, because if the cadet wants if the, if the cadet wants to fucking commit to Alright, you both wanna go down here? 
I'm more than happy to take either or at this point. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm not fussy as to which one I kill. They're both here. Oh, wow. I don't think they're like serious with you. I don't want to be anything like this to you. Do you suppose I could... Nah, that would be stupid. Oh, wow. <laughs> that random trap might have just got me. Hello. Go back. Yoink. I just barely make this one. There we go. Finally. That one random trap got me the kill. Okay, she ran off. She's going to hatch. She's going to she's going to shack. That's what I would do. It's not here though. It's not here. Oh, I need to kick that gem. I don't really care if she gets hatched or not. I need to get the I need to try and get to the the generator but kick it. So I can get extra kick point. There we go. I'll check the house next. I can hear it. There it is. Oh wow, she was actually over here. Unfortunately I'm too far away. It's a little unfortunate, but yeah, well, we found uh, well, banditcamp.com. Ah! All right. Well, I'll let this person win, but they are going to have to wait a little bit. Give them a no way out steps. So please struggle, preferably. You do have four stacks of no way out to do it. So you are going to have to wait a little. Yes. Do it. Do it. Yes. Now. Step on my traps. Wee. Oh. There we go. You can have some points for wiggling while we wait. Whoa. Whoa! She should be able to get out. Done. Uh, I'm giving the last survivor an escape, but we're gonna have to wait a moment. Oh, no way out does its thing. Yeah. Okay, one more wiggle out, and then we should be good. Yeah, I, because I use no way out a lot of the time. Okay, you need to wiggle. You need to wiggle. You need to wiggle. Like, come on. It's going to be done. There. It's gone. Right, wiggle. Wiggle. Quickly. Yeah, wiggle that booty. That's right. Wiggle it. You need to hurry up because this is going to close in like 30 seconds. You'll be literally dashing out this door. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Okay. Go, go, go. Alright. Can she. Will she make it? Yeah, she'll make it fine. Well, they gave me a fun game at the end, so I'm fairly tired to let one of them win. Okay. I need to go. <laughs> she fucked it up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh god, I thought she was going to like fall at a weird, weird angle and not get out. There you go. <laughs> nice. Oh no! I need two more generators! Fucking hell. Did you? Three gens are fun. No problem. Wow, look at how many points I got. That was a lot of points. 
Oh, actually, no, I have more than. I have slightly less more than that. Um, how many points did I get? I got 111,000, and there was no item boosters in that game, I don't think. No! Okay, well, there was a sacrificial cake. Hey, I let the person with the cake live. Huh. Go figure. They've been around for a year. If we view their profile, they are a... 661 hours. But if they have had a... They must have been around for the last anniversary. <laughs> Stop playing. Hey, what's this game? Inside the back rooms. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a multiplayer game. Okay. I've heard of that one. Nice. Well, that was fun. Um, Siege 9, Cadet. Well, I had fun because the survivors kind of regen themselves into the corner. And then after that, I just took the game off them. <clears throat> if they had not regen themselves, I would have had a much difficult time. Because Garden of Joy is tough. The problem is on high year, well, people don't fall in traps like the trapper. Same happens. Well, it's also the fact that the way the trap works is that when a person teleports on it, the tag has to, like, be within range. But also, you know, it's not like it's a guaranteed hit. It just means that the teleport can occur. So if it can be dodged or you can walk over them. You know, it, the hag can be carried by walking over the traps, using flashlights on the traps. Or even deliberately triggering the traps in a sequence so that the hag doesn't gain any benefit. But yeah, against uh, the, the relatively uh, half decent player, the, the hag um, struggles <coughs> quite a bit. Um, but the thing is, is that a hag that is really good is terrifying. You just don't see a lot of them, though. They're very good at trapping totems as well, because they can just do it over and over and over and over. But anyway, I digress. Unfortunately, I did not damage enough generators in that game. So I need to damage more generators. Two more, to be precise. Oh, sorry. Did I see your message about the birthday gift or something? Yes, I did. I did see that, yeah. I, uh, I definitely did. Excuse me. Sorry. Plastic cold is still around. It's so weird. Like, I feel fine for a bit, and then I'll just like, be like, oh, headache, and then tiredness, and coffee, coffee. And I can't really be doing that at work. Yeah, I, that's kind of nice that you did that. Right, so I need another killer. Uh, I think Corn King wanted to pick the next killer. So, who do you want for the next... Well, the next game I should easily be able to get two generators killed. Cherry needs a Halloween costume. Cherry does not need a Halloween costume. Cherry is already scurry by themselves. Cherry doesn't needs no extra impetus. Who do I want the least? The twins. You want my honest answer? Great, let's go trapper. <laughs> okay. Wait, whoa! What? A hundred percent bonus for killers suddenly? What kind of shit is this? I'm sorry, I have 100% bonus. What? 100% bonus for fucking... <laughs> oh my god, no way. 100% bonus, that's crazy. Oh, I can do brutal strength faster. Okay, with... I don't, it's fine. Silent bird trap, increased speed by 30%. Done. Now, what else should I pick? So that's really the, that, that's the only thing I can do with Trapper. Again, I, I don't think I can kick anything faster. I could have Aura Read, or... I think that's good for Aura Reading. That's good for the way of game. That's good for the way of... Actually, no, that'd be terrible, because that means they'd be able to not do gens. I need to pick something else. Um... Hmm. Well. 
what should I run to help with the gens rushing or whatever? I don't know. Unnerving presence. Uh, let's go for that. Just for fun. Uh, unfortunately, Corn King, no. Sorry, I didn't realize that you were going to do that as well. If I'd seen that, I'd have, I wouldn't have read it up. I'm not used to having a killer game that end a killer queue that ends quick. I'm not used to having a killer game where I have 100% bonus either. It seems to happen at this time, I've noticed. Like, you get the killer 100% for like about... It's not very long, though. It doesn't last very long. But, uh... <coughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, um... <clears throat> I think people get bored of playing killer. Start burning animals, no reason not use it. They could further as a fucking dynamic eye. Cherry is snuggly, wuggly, and awesome and spooky. Well, I probably would get bored too. I tend to play both sides quite a bit. I mean, I prefer, I, I have a lot more fun playing as the killer, but I kind of don't mind playing either side. Even, although Soul Q Survivor is unfun, but. I sort of jump around between both, and that's because of the archives, really. I still, if I had to pick one side to play as, I would definitely prefer to play Q a lot more. But I think it's always a good idea to stick at the both sides. I have said in the past stuff like, you know, uh, I would rather play Kira only, and true, I wouldn't be a, the worst thing in the world, but... That is kind of hidden, I think. Actually, very hidden. But if a smart, no, dodge it. We'll see. So trappers similar to hag, you want to be near you. Oh, I've almost done my challenge. Just need one more. Another good thing to do is to place it on pallets like this. Not because they, they don't know we're there. It just denies the power. They can't use the power now unless they disarm the trap. Yeah, good luck doing that. In case, he says. Alright, so... Do I want to deny this one? Or maybe do I want to catch them out? How about one here? That might... Oh, that's actually semi-hidden. That might work out nicely. Oh, wow. They actually do want to go for that one. Okay. Well, know where you are now. Back to you on that. Uh, I've already seen one person, so there's probably going to be a gen pop any second. There it is. Thanks for the extra 2.5%. Much appreciated, buddy. I mean, you'll probably do that gen as soon as I leave, but hey, thanks and stuff. Appreciate the, uh... Hehe, <laughs> I can sway around that. I mean, that means they put two, but... See how that works out for them. Boom, got one. Oh, for fuck's sake! My fucking god! That was a, what, a first time escape there? Second time? Bloody hell fire. I actually catch someone in a fucking trap. No, sorry, we must give them the second fucking. The fucking. Crap ah! chance or whatever. To do crazy shit like that. Ah! Uh. Yeah, you 
usual you just Oh, she should have gone downstairs there. She'd have been absolutely cold. Oh wow, she tried to be kinda smart there. Oh, she got boil over. That is miserable. Uh this is gonna be a very um I don't even know what he's doing. Jesus Christ. And now he's also dead hearted. Yeah, the unfortunate fact is that a lot of Trapper games go like this. You get nothing because Trapper can be abused very easily because you need setup. Which is why you're supposed to run corrupt to the way them. I mean, I don't think we care in this instance what's going to happen with the game. Yeah. This is not a serious sort of build. Obviously, I wouldn't be running these if I wanted to actually try and win kills. I'd be running Deadlock for one thing to slow them down. And finally, get a hook. But the game's probably already over because the way they've been doing fucking gens is a little scary. Yeah, you need Kuro. You need the traps to go well early. This is not a great free gen. But, well. Also, the problem is on White the Hag, you have to collect your traps. Normally. You can't just have them. You must collect. Wow, that is so obvious, but it might work. <laughs> Too obvious? Maybe. Nah, I don't think there's any point in doing that. What I want to be doing is like placing one where they like me to jump off or how about on the top of these steps? Something like that. This is a bit of a risk, but well, I need to cut this stupid fucking trap. There is an add-on that allows you to have all your traps in your bag at the beginning of the game, but the kicker is is that you cannot um, The kicker is that you cannot pick them up again. Once you've placed those traps, they stay where they are for the rest of the game. So you kind of, I'd actually like to be able to, oh for fuck's sake, I thought I could get that, like, come here, there we go, I might as well get the injury there, wait, that's a basement, <coughs> that won't really throw him off, but you never know, right? Now let's reset this one. This one that I'm gonna I'm gonna swap this out. I need to check these other gems. Waste one here instead. That is a little more evil. Yeah. This might catch someone out though eventually. Okay, they saw that one. You're here, aren't you? Wow, they're all injured. Oh, no way! If I hadn't been disabled, she'd have been so fucked right now. She has boil over as fucking well. What? Oh my face. Okay, are you seriously gonna sell the Sabo play here as well? Nope, you don't make that. Thank god. Jeez, boil over and Sabo plays coming in. Yeah. 
I'm gonna reset this one. Oh, they disabled this one. I'm gonna pick this up. Back. I don't think I'm going for that again. Take that. Ah! That one hasn't quite smacked him yet, but that's okay. Hello. Hello, cadet. Yeah. Off the record? Ah! Nope. Uh. No off the record for you. Yeah. I'm surprised she went straight for that save by herself. Uh. Maybe she should have healed up first. I think we got it. Thanks. I'm gonna go to the hatch. Hatch. Sorry. Correction. Shack. Spell time. You might run into a trap, you know. You might run into a trap. You might run into a trap. And I got disoriented somehow. Yeah, give me that power. Oh! Nope. Messed up. Guess we are going. Yeah. Obviously that trap is too obvious, but it's not there to necessarily... Uh... Gonna... I think he died, so I'm just gonna disengage that altogether. Okay. Head to shack. Check the hatch. Nope. Well. Check main building. Oh, we found it this time. No worries. Generators got done. Oh, well, the challenge. Yeah, the generators got done. I got my kicks quite witchily in this case. And that turned into a rather interesting game, surprisingly. Again, I would say they did perhaps regen themselves. It wasn't quite as close as the other one, but it was uh, a thing. Hey, Reckless Wife, how you doing? Yeah, you see what I mean? The free gen is uh, very powerful. Very, um. <clears throat> Not something you want to mess with, really. You know, you can be doing so well in a game, and then you can stick yourself in a corner, and suddenly the killer can just completely. Especially against a killer that can set up. Like, I can... Against some killers, a free gen is more easier, but a trapper can just trap all the gens. You can never get in without them knowing. They, if they have the right perks, this perk is absolutely brilliant for free gens. Probably one of the best perks ever for gen control, you know. Old Ruin for 60 seconds combined with the ability to see whenever a survivor pops a good skill check, and it's not like they can ignore those. You know, great perk for revealing when survivors are trying to rush. What if I'm a septic agent do a spine chill? I'll give you I don't know how effective new spine chill is, to be honest.
Oh, it was saboteur. Yeah, either way. Yeah, and uh, I'm just playing some DBD. I was doing some Doom earlier, Equus, but uh, my Iron Man attempts had ended, so I just played some DBD to chill out for my birthday. Which is today. And with that, another three challenges are now unlocked. So I'm running out. I'm starting to increase across the board. Um, hook the obsession six times. Prepare ten generators. I need to unlock these next, so I might have to go on ship fall from a great height while being chased three times. Repair ten generators. I just left Tom nine. Problem is I don't have pig and tap. Uh, well, I, I can't complete six because of that stupid bugged thing. It's a real shame. I hope they fix that eventually. I'm gonna check that every patch. Let me just check what side has the bonus. Oh wow, Killer still has 100% bonus, you serious? Oh, that's kind of surprising. Well, the only... Oh, actually, I can unlock two challenges if I do this one. I should probably do this. Hopefully, Obsession six times. Alright. Um... Yeah, wow, that is... Doesn't happen very often. Right, so... Um... Who has picked killers? Corn King's picked, Shakar's picked, Maddox picked. Okay, Ao Jand. Uh, actually, no, Reckless Life, since you just hopped in. You can pick the next killer uh, that I will play as to try and hook the obsession three times. Which means I'll have to play at least two games, possibly more. No, Reckless Life. I'm gonna give Reckless Life a shot. If there's time, I'll give you a game as well. Yeah, which killer do you want me to play as for the next challenge I'm doing? I probably have enough points now to get Ada to 50, actually. And I can think about getting something else to 50. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe Legion? Spirit. Alright. Oh, that hair is so good. So wild on her with the uh, Golden Jaw one as well. There is a spirit mask, which is cool, but this one is like. It changes her hair very differently. It's like more bushy with this one, but this one's like. It looks very cool in a way. Spirit or Blight, fast and deadly. Oh yeah, I've got the set. The armor set. Yeah, Midsummer Mate. This is the Summer Rift set. Yeah. And the dislocated body parts. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, the blade looks really nice actually. I don't think I've rubbed this on a set yet on Spirit. Oh, I've got, I've got some crap to get rid of with it as well. That's good. Uh, let's see. I want to... Uh, 
<laughs> just watch you deep way, so. Hmm. Alright. Hey, thank you for the one bit, Reckless Life. Much appreciated. So you don't have to feel the pain of playing it. Smart move, sir. It's called Glorious Armor. Hmm. Uh oh, we got a we got a prestige nineteen TTV. This. Oh no, I need to make a bit of an altercation build. Yeah. Okay. Conflicting map offerings. Well, I think the off. I think um, the TTV bought the cake or the flan. So uh, this is gonna have to be. Jeez, oh, uh, this is gonna have to be my last game as well. I think maybe the last game uh, because uh, they throw maps that they deserve. Yeah. I seem to be. I don't know. I don't know if I'm right, but I think I've been playing against Swifts in every killer game tonight. As far as I can tell, I'm. I'm not very well experienced with the spirit. I must mention. Uh. So. Oh, I don't know how well this will go. Will this be another free gen game? I don't think these survivors will go. Will free gen themselves though. Like, if they're an organized Swift, you have to play kind of differently against that because they do weird things. However, if you know of an organized Swift, you can also play differently against it. Sometimes the organization works against them. I can pull tricks off against Swifts that you can't do against solo cube players. Um... Is there a slightly different darkness to... This map, or am I just seeing things? I have no idea. Very weird. They all kind of just died together. Oh, he's the obsession. Perfect. Let's just tunnel him. We need him for the challenge. He's gonna go down there. We just need to follow him. Basically. I mean, it feels a bit sad we have to tunnel somebody. We do need the obsession hook, so. <coughs> Someone nearby, I think. Yeah. She was trying to. She was in position to fucking like try and prevent the hook. That was a little scary, actually. Wait. Like, yeah, you can. Oh, this could be really mean, actually. She's gonna unhook him right now. No. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I don't. I won't normally do this, but I do kind of need to hook him. I don't normally do this, though. I feel kind of bad I'm going to be tunneling this guy for at least another hook state. Maybe I'll leave him. Hi there. I'm really sorry, dude. I wouldn't normally do this. I... No! The f what the fuck? Oh, I need to fucking knock the flash out of your hand. Yeah, distraction, nice try. I've gotten used to seeing that a bit more these days, too. He's gonna drop this. Do you reckon I can get into fake drop? Hmm. What the hell? I'm not falling for that either. No, sorry, dude. I've seen diversion too many times. I know how people play with it now. You, I'd like to. Oh, I have Franklin's, by the way. 
Enjoy your flashlight when you're out of charges. <laughs> you went down the hole. I think this is the, yeah, this is the Twitch player with a lot of experience, so. Oh shit, life. I fucking sort of know how to counter that tech, but she had life, so I couldn't. But if you time it just right and they don't quite get the jump timing of that right, they kind of... back to normal. Don't want to be really chasing after that particular player. The obsession is still injured. They were here. The obsession. Oh, someone just quenched the play thing. Yeah, there he is. Target sighted. I will leave that power there. It's not gonna really do much good against. Yeah, dude. Wait, he actually fucking went in this time. What? What the the, the hell? What? I didn't even see him dis- I'm so confused, like, when you do that, do you have like a brief moment where your scratch marks vanish or something? I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't quite- I, I thought he actually was trying to like do a fake out trick where he pretends to use the set but then actually goes in the locker. So he thinks like, oh, go past it. Like a mind game of some sort, but he actually just used Deception again. Oh, so Deception allows you to lose your scratch marks as well. I see. Like for a few seconds after it's used. Okay. I get that, I guess. <coughs> Hello there. Hello there. Ah! Wiggy thing. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I actually got her. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Since this player actually is pretty good at looping, I decided let's just do short bursts. Worked perfectly, upset that I missed, but I had her anyway because I closed it down. I kind of like doing that with the spirit anyway. It's do short bursts instead of the uh, the long. Man, they are on top of these fucking wave things, I tell you. Uh, oh, she's not screwed here, is she? The thing is, though, they'll know that I'm gonna do that eventually, so they'll probably start adapting a little bit. Do I want you to drop this power? Yeah. Well, we do, to be honest. Hey. Hey. I might leave that power there as well. I think that could be used as a nice point to get him into a tricky spot. Put my power. So, 
four hooks. Not bad. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go for the unhook. Right. He's going straight for the unhook. Yes. No, someone else was. Wow. Okay. No, screw that. Where are you, David? Where are you? You are injured. Going for the unhook. Funny that Dead Hard was whined about a while, and new Dev Hard is. Dude, I'm not falling for that for the 50th time. Now I know you lose scratch marks for two seconds. I mean, you think you would try and fake it once? I think he needs to realize it's not going to work. Make it he, was... he sort of took a different pathing there, so he didn't quite get to it in time. Well, that's his second hook. Wow, the other person hasn't been rescued yet. Down here. She just saved. Oh, he tried something with. Damn, they went the other way. I was hoping to like maybe think they phase, they go one way, then the other. Wait. Where did they go? They just stayed in here. Okay then. Never mind. Phase. Oh, almost. Fake phase. Oh, this person is. Fucking life! Oh yeah, she has fucking life. I should have been anticipating that. This person was so patient. Yeah, that's a good one to get out of the way, actually. Change target because so someone was doing the power over there. This is a great corner for me as well. That is a nasty. That's some. That's one of the things about this map with some of the placements of the gems and the power. You can get cornered on these gems. There's even situations where there's a power next to a door that opens later, where you get stuck. There's some weary and wookie RNG dead ends down there on this map sometimes. That was not the worst, but I've seen one where like there's a power drop and you'd think to go to it, but then the door's shut and you just bam, cornered. Game's done. That's David, I think. But never mind him. Oh we got it. That's David. And we will be killing him now. You gonna drop it? I'm gonna drop it. Good David, you drop the powers. Drop that power. The power. A bit. Oh my god! Wow! Ah! That was such a weird. Ah! Ah! I fucking went in the correct direction. He dead hearted. Because I missed, his dead heart fell flat on his face. Ah! Because we both kind of played weirdly in that spot. These are certain dead hearts on point. Scary. But that's what you can do when you time dead hearts really well. You can just pull off like the craziest avoidances ever. 
and you can get so much more out of it too. So really, in a sense, Dead Hard was never nerfed. It just got changed enough to the point where it's now a lot more easier to count. <coughs> Dead Hard is still as annoying as it turns out. Dead Hard is still as annoying to you as annoying to deal with as ever. It's just done in a different way now. It's a lot more fair. Which is fine. I don't I think I don't think that if, if players know how to time the dead hearts well, then it should be rewarded for that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Man, they did they started off really well in this too, but I without really using my power extensively either. Took them by a scruff of their neck. Yeah, the spirit is a hard kill to play against, though, if they know what they're doing. So I don't know why they struggle against me, but... Because her mind game is so hard to deal with. I think she's just going to hide. That being said, if she was, she should probably be killing herself to make it faster. Mm, no particular location for the hatch, either. And this, and this being the game, there's no specific location, either. So it's a... Point flip. Oh, she just literally walks to it. Yeah, there's no real strategy on this map to get the hatch. It's just literally a guesswork of her. I swear sometimes that hatch spawns right on top of somebody. Sometimes you, sometimes them. I don't know if it does. I think it is just complete random. So maybe it just feels like it, but I swear sometimes you can see the hatch pop right next to you. <laughs> well, um, no profile because they're not on PC. Actually, none of them were. They were definitely a semi-organized group at the least. Um, yeah, this is why killers would swag for the 4K. You know, if you're going for the 4K, I would probably also slug. Of course, that's not going to be an option anymore because of the unbreakable change coming up in the next patch. But it's still viable for the last two survivors, I think. If you can locate the other one. But yeah, like, for this, this person also was the one who bought the game offering as well. Maybe that's why they got their hatch at the end? I don't know. If they lose the game, don't find the hatch. Why can't they open doors? Makes no sense to me. I know play and play more survivor. That was a really good game. Really, uh, absolutely wrecked them. Very satisfying. I still think the game is one of the best maps, though. It's frustrating to deal with, but I like how it, the way out of how the map works. And the way that the doors interact and change the complexion of the square as the game develops. I still really like that. I mean, it's annoying to deal with if you got bazillion powers, but it's like a big square. It can very quickly change in the killer's favor once the pallets are gone. That's the interesting thing about it. As the map, as the gens pop on the lower levels and the map becomes more open, it becomes a lot more killer-sided once the pallets decrease. To some extent. I kind of wish they'd make more in maps like that and less maps with shitty outdoor areas and infinites. That's it's my last game. I mean, that hair is so fucking wild. Alright, well. Let's see if I can get Ada's blood web finished. I think I will be able to. Not very easily. <laughs> it's not even a question of if I can, it's just a case of. 
how many good items do I want to get along the way? I don't think I have so many though. Yeah, I get so bad. Three hundred thousand wood points, sweet. Quest Alliance, sign well boon. Ah, resilience. Burke haven't really tried to use yet. Like at all. What's in the bar? What's in the bar? And I imagine. You can have that. Hooray! Ada level 3. Nice. So both the newest survivors are now at prestige 3. Now what do I want to do? Do I want to go for another survivor? Or do I want to go for... Hmm. How close are you to completion? Oh wow, you're level 5. You're way off. Yeah, we'll come back to you later. Your perks aren't exactly vital right now. To be honest. As much as it nice it would be, I'm kind of thinking I want to get people's perks I actually do use first. And then do others later. Do I do a killer now then? I've done survivor for a little bit. I've been pumping up all the survivors. Is it time to do a killer maybe? To Three. Maybe Death Slinger? Hmm. Although that being said, Artist also has Pain Res and Pedimento. Uh, it's a double combo. Death Slinger has Dead Man's and Red Cube, which I like running. Uh, Legion has. Iron Maiden, which is great for like about two killers. <laughs> and I think I have Iron Maiden on both of those, so it's not a requirement anymore. Interest is only there for all by Wraith. I have Wraith up too. I don't even need any of these things, really. Hillbilly for Tinkerer and Lightborn, perhaps, or Enduring. Oh, I can't decide what to go for next. Like little parts of things I could go for. Actually, this is really actually. Ooh. Hmm. The trapper has some good perks for multiple kills, though. Unnerving for trap builds, for uh, all the builds, all the reading combo builds. Dual strength for kicking things. Like for Wraith, for instance. Oh my. Uh, they're so far away. I have to spend so many points. Thing. I have uh, so much. I can't decide. Uh, uh, ah, fuck it. Alright, let's get P3 on Trapper then. So, I'm gonna need to pick things. I didn't realize Iron Grass was. I didn't realize that Iron Grass was actually a um, neutral perk. You know. No wonder I don't see it all the time. Yeah. All right. I don't need to go for these anymore. These are going to be obsolete soon. Completely obsolete. You need help deciding a I'm just trying to decide who's prestige next, but I think the trapper will be good because unnerving presence is so useful for quite a few killers or uh, terror radius type builds, like Doctor particularly. Uh, brutal strength is useful for some fun builds where you kick things faster and can be ridiculous on like Wraith and stuff. And agitation is good for anyone who wants to fling people on particular hooks. Again, well. The, with the patch, the Mori's are going to become base kit, Shigara, uh, as of the next patch after the PTB ends, which will probably be coming up this month. 
will be a Halloween event. Uh, so what will happen is all these Mori offerings, which previously gave access to, it means that it will be part of every killer's uh, toolkit. So basically in every single game, by standard, I'll be able to use like one of these offerings without needing to bring the offering. So if I down a survivor twice and they're dead on a hook, I could Mori them, for instance. Whereas previously, you'd have to bring an offering. What will change, however, is instead of being an offering that gives um, the option to Mori, the offerings will give extra blood points. If you, I think it's if you Mori survivors, you get more uh, blood points or something like that. Or you just kill them. And I think the Ebony ones are... Um, you get 20,000 extra blood points if you manage to kill all the survivors or more of them or whatever. I might do Ale Jand. I'm just, I'm just currently perking up on the Trapper. I decide I'm going to get into P3, so I'm going to have these three. I just can't really think of anyone I'd really necessarily need immediately. So I just need, I just need to keep putting up P3s, really. Um, so I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to think what to pick. Oh, extra bird trap is always good. <coughs> it would be funny if the kills would get outfits and make them all like normal people in a scary disguise. Imperfectly so, of course, right in the uncanny valley. You mean like kind of like Legion was going to be built like? That's kind of what the Legion was originally going to be sort of seen as. So, you know, it was meant to be like, you look like one of the survivors, but you're really not. Oh, it was a time special. that one I was talking about earlier, the trapper sack. You can you have all the bird traps in your hand. Once you place them, they stay there forever. They cannot be picked up. If you know what you're doing though, the thing on the map, that's probably not the worst one though. Yeah, deer stalker, that's an interesting one. Event starts on the 11th. I don't think I've, I think I've used Deer Stalker once ever. <laughs> There are some perks in this game I've never used one time. There's still parts of this, I mean, there's still parts of this game I've never really bothered with, so... Yeah. Hmm. Alright, that's all that. Then. Do we have time for one more game? Yeah, I think Aeljan's been waiting patiently, so... Okay, Aeljan, I will do one more game just for you. One more killer game to try and get the obsession three more times. So which killer do you want to... You want to see Bobby, all right? And no doubt you'll want me to run some builder over. Add-ons. What add-ons? 
I have a few of those. He wants chases. I'll just run the ultras. Good old bubber. <laughs> Oh, I could have increased the cooldown and maybe the points of charge or tantrum duration decrease. Oh wow, I got greatly thickened. That's some crap I need to get rid of. Alright. Adorable! Okay. Well, this will definitely be the last uh, match of the evening. After this point, um, I will be starting to head to bed because I have... Hmm, I'm still not feeling 100%, to be honest. Wow, everyone's just leaving. They know it's a bubba game. <laughs> they know it's a bubba match. They're already gonna leave. <laughs> oh, you already use what's a chainsaw. Maybe I shouldn't do any sloppy butcher then. What about? Do I have agitation? I do not have agitation. Oh, he's not a tier. Oh wow, I'm getting agitation at fucking that. They can feel it in the tingles. I might leave that anyway. They know it's a sweet pea game. <laughs> yeah. Could use Deer Stalker for fun, but I think to do that I'd also have to combine it with Knockout. A little bit. Nah, I'd be with him on a slug. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's have a look at the build. This might be the this might be the first non-swift of the night. And the last game. Two flashlights though. Uh hey George. I think we'll be switching it out to flank ones. Due to the oh hang on. Uh, I was going to swap back to swap people. Frank went to this. Can't go wrong with free items on board. The OP top streamer? Nope, I'm out. OP streamer, my ass. Oh, Whitewood. Oh, boy. Okay. Two flashlights and a med kit. Hmm. So for a flashlight, a white ward would be the odd bulb, which is the strongest bulb in the game. And a med kit, it's either anti-hemic or styptic. So, depending on who delivered that, I can expect some advanced healing. At least, it, at least there's no toolboxes. So, it's not like a brand new pod or anything. Let's see if I can get you. Again, I will try and go after the obsession as often as I can to, um, to hook them. So naturally, I get a fucking god awful map. Hooray, we have crows. Ooh. All right, then, Shigar, thanks for joining. Me. Let's just hit that. Let's just hit that despair button right now. Yeah, have fun with the seven days thing. And thanks for going to my birthday stream. 
you were here. You're still here. <laughs> That was a really ridiculous start. Already one, maybe two? Maybe two. Wow. So, remember kids, this is why we don't, uh, this is why we don't um, group up against the bubble. Not that they knew that, but this is why they don't group up in general. Just sit here for the rest of the game and win by default now if I wanted to. I could just wish we sit here and just wait. If I want to be mean. Oh, wait, no, I need the obsession. I kind of don't want to do that actually. I really don't want to like, start dying and quitting. I need to kill the obsession. So we'll see what happens here. Hello. So we'll wait kind of nice. It's. You reckon that... Oh, well, this game could be over very quickly if they fuck up. Oh, I... Where? Oh, she's there! She's there! Oh, I need her! Oh my god, she went back down, I think. No, she didn't. Okay. I want the obsession. If I win this game too fast, I'm gonna DC or some shit. I want the obsession. This is fine. I'm chasing her around. She's not helping her teammate at all with this. I'm actually happy to do this because she's just going to waste her teammate's health state or whatever. <laughs> Missed. You better run. You better run. I missed. Oh, someone went down there. What are you doing? Haha! Ah, <laughs> You've no flashlight now. Ah! Got her! Yes! Strike one on the obsession. And she has and she was the only one with a flashlight, so once they pick up, that's gonna be it for a while. Oh, someone actually did pick up the flashlight. Well, thank you. And that's four stacks of no way out, so we're set for later. Okay. Huh? Um. Didn't end, I guess. That's a strange occurrence. Did you forget to mend there? Just got to mend. Yeah! That always freaks me out when I see that happen. But every now and then, a survivor does forget that they need to... Sorry, I say every now and then, I mean maybe once in about every 200 games. A survivor forgets to mend. For no reason at all, they just forget. Oh, they mended it in there. Wow, they really want to get this gen done. Well, I'm sorry, Obsession, but I need you. I must chase the cute blonde one. Possibly forever. Endeavor. Endeavor. I know you're still here somewhere. Okay, maybe you're not. You finally left the basement earlier. That's bad for me. Now you could be anywhere. <laughs> Oh well. Oh my god, they are still staying near each other. This is staying <laughs> How many times must I teach you this lesson? You don't get that. I did that. Yeah. 
You know the last you know that was the last time I got multiple hits of the chainsaw that I ever? Months ago. You do not creep up against the mother. I know you're oblivious, but you just don't. Yeah, it's like... It's a pointy point. They're all oblivious, by the way. That might have contributed to that, but still... They could see me approaching them. Uh, well... I don't know where they are, though. They don't know where I am. Maybe the thickness helps a little bit. I reckon the thickness helps in a weird way. Yeah, right, you're not getting the fuck. Stop that. No boon for you. No, no. No, no. No boon. No. Nah, I'm gonna have to check. I think it's still here. Sort of. Probably should not be, though. It's probably have moved on. One of them is no longer oblivious, but... Mm. Oh, scratch marks. Pocket? No. Oh, she's doing the boon. No way I fucking missed that by inching because I hit some invisible collision. What the hell did I even hit? I'm not, I'm shitting you not. I somehow ran into an invisible fucking brick tile or something. Just, oh my fucking... My invisible fucking tiling thing. <laughs> wow, she's so patiently waiting. I need to get it down. Hate this. Friggin map, though, like running around weird stuff. What the hell is it? Why is she doing these weird movements, though? I don't get that at all. What the weird movements are all about in this. Come back to it later. Hi. Uh... No. No. You do realize I'm so dangerous in tangent mode. Hi, man, kid. Well, she's lost a med kit again. Uh... How do you always. Well, two of you are here, so let me leave. One of you could be working on a gen at this point. I'd rather she get rid of these powers so early, and she's just out of entry. And then what's she gonna do? Oh, you fucked up now. Yeah, now what are you gonna do? Now you've dropped your item, which I don't see anything anyway. Oh my god, fucking sprint burst. The sprint burst is real. I have no any loot here, it must be mentioned. Oh, let's just try something else. No, she did not fall for that. You do realize I... Yeah, now you're, you're dead or gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
that another fucking power? Yeah, I'm fucking that. Come on, fall for the mind game, please. Still, I know they disengaged a couple of the totems. I don't know if they all did though. No, one of them is still oblivious, and I'm guessing it might be the Meg. Didn't know what she was doing just then. All right, we well, were fucking here. Not anymore. Oh, there they are. Oh my god, they're all here again. All of them. This is bonkers. Hello there. This time you're not getting away. Even with boil over in your bed. Have I enough object collision in this map to last a lifetime? Thanks. <laughs> that wasn't bad manner. I thought she was right behind me or something. Again, I was going to try and maybe... Oh wow, she really was right behind me. Thank you. You probably had decisive strike, but I'm just going to kill you. It's not a decisive strike. Uh, well, okay. Bye, obsession. There we go. Now I've got my challenge done, so I am very happy. I am a happy brother. I am a happy little serial killer. Oh, she does, but yeah, the chain doesn't stop just because you hit dead hard. Dead. Alright, this has been a good night for killer. And these people are going to learn a very hard lesson on how not to play against. Oh my fucking god, I had scratch marks and I somehow lost her. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't need the 4K again. This is Hatch Hunt. I'm gonna kick this just to get some points. They kept staying together. You do not... I mean, that's a bad advice against many killers, but... Against a bubble. Once you realize it's bubble, it should be like, right, if you're gonna group up, be very careful when you, when you choose to do that. And now, although these are really far apart from each other, no way out comes in clutch at this point. This is where the thickness of the fog works against me, actually. I can't see any movement from a distance. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But wait a minute. This Meg is oblivious still. 
Oh no! That's really bad for her. She's oblivious. What's she gonna do? Wait, she hasn't. There's no scratch marks. So she's here somewhere, right? She's gonna try and be sneaky. But where? Oh, this is where it gets frustrating because she could have fucking snuck off to the other one or something. Oh, she opened it and then what did she do? Just fucking disappear? Oh, hide? This is what noise means. You're fucking. Oh, she's there. Hi, Meg. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I figured. Let's put the puzzle together. She's not there, she's not there, but there's no scratch marks. There's no way she vanished. Hit the wall just for that. Quit a bonus. Hey, quit. I quit. I don't want to play in bubble anymore. Fuck that shit. <laughs> wow. That was just carnage. You very rarely get survivors who group up that conveniently for the entire game. Like, the moment that started with the 2K on the basement, I kind of had the game by the scruff of its neck. Loosened it slightly. And then, well... I don't know why you would DC at the end there, to be honest. It's a bit pointless once, like, um, <clears throat> you're already on the hook. You might as well just take the points, right? And again, it really helped that she was oblivious, too. You know, if she had not been oblivious, that she might have had a bit more of an option, but she was oblivious, so she didn't know where I was, which is really nice. Oh yeah, I know, I, I, I wasn't playing that seriously. I know I could have changed sort of at the end. If I really wanted to play serious, Eljan, I put two survivors in the basement and I'd sit there until they're dead. Because even if I get gen rushed at that point, two survivors die. The game the game was already over the moment two of them went to basement against the bother. And the third one would have been dead, and it would have been over. But I didn't want the game to end quickly. Because I wanted to hook the obsession three times, and I got the wish. So, good stuff. If I had done that, I would have got one hook, and the game would have been over in, like, three minutes. But I can assure you, in a more serious environment, I would have been an immediate... ...count session. But I don't play that way. Doesn't amuse me. That's easy enough. Right, so I guess the next. There's only. Oh wow, we only got a few challenges left to unlock, and one of them is. is oh no. Oh, oh no. That's gonna be so fucking hard. Oh god. You have any idea how hard it is to get one survivor to show up when the plague has a purge? You have to hit two in the same breath. I literally would need the dumbest survivors ever, or I get lucky. Alternatively, um, I could do it when they're unhooking, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. If I can catch them when they're unhooking, uh, yeah. That, that works. Otherwise, it will be impossible. I guess that's the next one to do. She's by before from a great hat while being chased. And I come up this one and this one. And then I've got everything I need. All right, cool. Those noises are popper makes. Yeah. I get that now, 
that'll be useful for a serious, any serious kind of trappery game. I'm sorry. A burglary trap resets two seconds after a survivor escapes. Oh god, I don't want that one. That's actually pretty good. In some cases, you know, two seconds. They escape and the trap is reset, so you don't have to go back and bother with it. Hell, in some cases, I could actually catch the shim out massively. I could be downright evil in some cases. Driver escapes, thinks they're safe, runs back. <laughs> Trapped again, sucker. Speed out to set. Really? The 5% aced? I wouldn't have thought it'd be that big of a deal, to be honest, but. Okay, well, level 19 it is for now. That's all we're gonna get from the trapper. Also, the more time to escape, it's ever A plus 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 plus. Well, that's true. It is. Huh. Guess I'll be seeing some of these costumes in uh, the dating game whenever I get around to playing it. Okay, um, well, that's uh, gonna be the end of the stream for tonight. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, for those who stuck around for both parts. Um, for both the Iron Man attempts and also the, um, the Dead by Daylight. Um, so, I, uh, I don't plan on streaming tomorrow because although I am not going into work tomorrow because I think I need another half a day to recover from this cold flu thing, I'm probably going to be okay by the end of tomorrow. So, I will be going into college on Tuesday night. So, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Um, but... Wednesday night, I will be playing the um, birthday request. Uh, I'll swing it again. Um, the, I'll be playing all the submissions that are done to this thread uh, or given to me by any DMs or whatever. Uh, I'll be doing that on Wednesday night where I'll go over the, uh, the map that are submitted to me. So that should be interesting. To see what people have come up with. I got I'm curious to see how many entries I actually get, but I'm hoping for some real creative stuff. Uh so yeah, I'll be doing that. And then on the weekend, since I'm not gonna be streaming on Thursday because of poker and Friday because of co-op stuff, uh I will be starting my playthrough of that horror game, the Phobia Saint Divna Hotel. So that will be the next horror game for Spooktober. Uh, obviously, I will be receiving my first college assignment tomorrow night, so I'll have to see if that influences my free time. But my current plan is at some point in the weekend, hopefully Saturday. Wait, actually, I'm not sure. I'm actually out of poker on Saturday as well, but maybe not all day. I'll see how that goes. At uh, some point over the weekend, I'll start the hotel game playthrough is what I'll say. So, yeah. Um, nice birthday stream, yep. I'm going to enjoy the last hour of my birthday. And who is live so we can go and raid? 
that is few people. But I'm gonna raid Napson because he's playing some Next Fest demos. I might be curious to see what kind of games he has uh, in mind for some of those. So yeah, thank you all for watching and uh, have a good evening. And I'll see you all on Wednesday night for the um, the map submissions for the birthday uh, request, Fred. Waiters. <laughs>